Uh, what is up, guys? I'm here with my friend uh, Francesco. Um, he came to visit me uh, for like a week. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, an armor seller from Italy. Already in the sport for how long? Like one and a half? No, you said maybe oh, yeah, three about years. Yeah, two, three years more or less. Yeah. And uh, he's doing a lot of calisthenics, mm -hmm. which yeah. makes him very strong. So uh, I more think we'll less. have some fun. Uh, but otherwise, the plan is to simply train a little bit with him, uh, maybe even every day, little by little, up to leading up to the match with uh, Tom Holland. And I think it will be a great preparation for me. Um, so that's it. Anything you would like to say? Yeah, I'm going to try my best because I'm not at Min Douglas level, but let's try. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let's just I can do fun. some. All right. And maybe one more thing, we are also planning to do to film some challenges, uh, yeah. like me as an armor slur guy, him as a calisthenics guy, more of a calisthenics guy, just to see uh, where does our uh, strength level compare and so on. Yeah. So that should be also pretty fun. All of these videos are coming up shortly on my YouTube channel and uh, enjoy. Okay, let's go. Let's warm up a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try to not get injured. Yeah. Just yeah. always like this part in the last month. That, uh, On the right. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. always like feels a bit uh, a bit painful, but not so much. But we'll see. who is bigger, me or you? Oh, definitely you. Are you sure? Yeah. Because yeah, from yeah. my side it looks like yeah. Nah 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 not at all. My bicep is so small. <laughs> we we could take measurements like <laughs> next video. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna lose that one as well. Yeah, no problem there. I was uh, hanging a little bit um, today uh -huh. in the basement just like Okay. I think it helped uh, somehow with this left wrist felt uh, immediately better. But now again, a little bit. Mm. In the wrist, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just here under the knee. There's, it's like there's no good support, you know? Yeah, it feels yeah. like. I get, I get this pressure and then it, mm. it compresses here. And then I see. Well, it's actually the worst when I'm trying to hook you. When I'm uh -huh. it's, it's not bad. Fine, yeah. Oh, then. Seems good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, for example, now, like, I. Nothing. I'm, <laughs> no, I couldn't uh, oh, press couldn't any press. harder. No, okay. Like, I, because I want to stop you, but I feel like I have to. Oh, I see. So initially it's pretty hard. But okay, give me a couple of minutes, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm Taking time. <laughs> Does it hurt in a hook like this? Mm. Don't know. Don't, no. don't feel stable. Doesn't feel stable. Yeah, the beginning, is, but it's not, not because of that, I guess. Maybe it's just in general, I have to yeah. warm up. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should remember that it's not necessarily because of that. Mm. Even though that keeps saying.
Sorry. Yeah, today can be quite a serious one, right? I mean, as long as soon as you warm up, we can mm -hmm. go hard. I mean, we can go progressively, yeah. yeah. Well, not too fun. Yeah, I don't know why. For example, you you feel like you could actually start arm wrestling now, right? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, now you really like take this amount of time, and then we start arm wrestling. Because for me, you see, I'm not even ready yet. Like still. No. Okay. Uh, that's that's actually better. I mean, uh, in my opinion, if you warm up like uh, a lot, it actually helps. But to be honest, um, in training, I just take like five minutes of, of this kind mm. of warm up, and then we start. But I actually don't feel actually ready. I would like to mm. do more. So yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's a good idea. Just a special not good. Mm. Luckily, I don't have to go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had to go that way, I would be worried would be... much more. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, this wrist works better. Like I can feel, I can take the. You feel like uh, that way is better when I do it, or you it's mean... good when you. I mean, it's good when you do it, mm -hmm. but I mean, my wrist is somehow able to. Oh, you can resist it. Yeah, yeah. You feel strong. On here, like... I couldn't. I'm not left. Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels different, definitely. Mm -hmm. You're getting it, yeah. It feels more solid now. So if I have to really take my time doing yeah. the warm up. warm up, and then at some point, okay, I, I will have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. If I, there is a point where my wrist just says, okay, now it's we're okay. good. Yeah. Yeah. I just about need to wait until that point. I should not mm -hmm. start to learn. Yeah, about that, one question about the warm up before the match. How do you do it? How do you feel like doing it? Do you do it with another person? Do you do it with the band? Another person is of course great. Yeah. Probably a must, I would say. Okay. At least for me. Otherwise, yeah, the band. Okay. But I could see how, for example, here, if I feel some problems, it would be pretty hard to... Uh, to do it with the band, yeah. yeah. Because uh, so no matter what I do, I would probably feel... And then it was you, right? Yeah, yeah. my thumb. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. So I'm wondering now, how strong are you? Ah, well, <laughs> not so much, I guess. Cool. Hmm. Because now, when I'm warm, mm -hmm. I don't feel much, actually. You know, like. Yeah, I mean, 
That's mm. uh, <laughs> before it felt like mm, yeah. okay, and now it feels better, better no. worse. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like I'm very comfortable. Very oh comfortable. yeah, yeah. No problem at all. Mm. Interesting. Fine. I mean, when you warm but up, you're definitely more uh, feel more connected, mm -hmm. right? Would like to stay there and mm -hmm. give a bit and more pressure, joint, yeah. but there's this little. But you can still keep trying, and then you know over time. Yeah. Should be fine. There's no yeah. like <laughs> no worries. Oh, I was a bit worried. No. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I remember a couple of months, no, not a couple of maybe like half a year ago. I was also harvesting someone mm -hmm. and maybe giving them too much like this. Yeah. And then there's quite a lot of pressure on this um, oh, thumb. Pronator, yeah. And then I think something like cracked. And oh, yeah. So I should probably be careful about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even though yeah, I am stronger, you know, going yeah, to stupid positions is maybe like sometimes thumb. a mistake. Yeah. yeah, sure. So I will try to maybe just be smart. Oh yeah, up here, can't do anything. Good. <laughs> you can also try this too. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let me just try to see how it oh, seems cool. Maybe the buckle is mm -hmm. too hard. Again. It's metal. It's a metal, yeah. Oh. It could maybe be too hard. Yeah. Right? <laughs> could be. Well, as long as it's not. Let's see. Let's see. Feels good for now. Yeah. Would like to try even harder, but this part really bothers me. Right? The elbow? The, the elbow, yeah. Every, every time I try to compress mm. and drag with the mm. cupping, it connects it down here. Mm. I just let it go, just yeah, felt yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't want to grab your tongue no. too much. I think I have to top off. Yeah. So about the strap, um, there are some people that don't believe there's a difference between each side, 
like I think Todacin's lately is say, saying like uh, in his opinion there's no difference but many I know many people that uh, think there is actually what do you think about it well it seems like there is a difference yeah maybe if if someone like Todacin doesn't care about uh, yeah. the height or the, his arm too much then to him it doesn't matter but um in your opinion you feel a difference yeah well for me i'm not sure maybe i don't really care too much either but okay. um, but i can see how it could so you don't uh, either side you don't uh, pull differently in your mind like you're not thinking about okay i've got the buckle i'm pulling this way i don't have it i'm pulling another way the only difference is that if i got the buckle then i i am somehow maybe more careful to make sure that i'm not uh, put in a crazy bad position okay so I'm more like fighting for a, for the grip. Okay. And then if the buckle is on the other side, then I'm, I'm relaxed. Okay. I know that it's gonna be fine. Okay, good to know. How do you feel about when uh, when I go like this? Do you feel a, a bit more pain or seems no? With you, it's fine. But some people, yeah, if of course, if it's someone are, like very strong, they have a lot of pressure, yeah. and then it's it's not my favorite thing to yeah. de defend against now. So I mean, it's I, something I I dislike. I against the people who do it. I would probably make sure that I'm never really pushed downwards too okay. much. I would I would really like to stay at least here. Mm -hmm. So my bone is somehow, so we are somehow pressing into yeah, my bone. Yeah, they're, they're not pressing, uh, not necessarily, yeah, not straight into the muscle. Going this way, yeah. but more on the bone. Okay. Yeah. So if, uh, for example, you you'd need to defend from a, like a start from wrist, like. Yeah, so my elbow would stay in front. Uh -huh. I would not, I would not drag it back. Okay. Because you know sometimes when you drag it back, when you you're sort you of very there. horizontal. Like, yeah. I would do more of this thing. Like. Okay. Okay. Okay, another one. Oh, sorry. Oops. How do you feel here? Fine? No, oh, it's fine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like how you are moving your elbow in front. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I think, yeah, makes it harder for me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, like when I when I drag with my with my back, it feels like uh, I don't know. I have like one hundred percent strength here, and in the bicep, it's like fifty. Yeah. It's like. I could pull it so much, but my bicep goes down so easily. So I probably need to work more on isometrics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because are, you, are you working on this angle? Like, <sighs> yeah, not so much. Just static or? No? Yeah, I should uh, because with the uh, pull-ups, it's always like dynamic, and sometimes like this, isometric, but not so much. So mm -hmm. I should move the more definitely. But because if you do that, it it somehow also gets better very quickly yeah well, that's what i noticed okay so these kind of uh, posting um you know mm -hmm. belt over knuckles just holding statically is something which will with a band quickly or yeah or some weight uh-huh like that just okay holding. okay that one really works well mm -hmm. 
Should I go in or out? Maybe maybe you you can try to go. I can try yeah, to adopt. Right. Yeah. So for me it's perfect, I think that's what I will do. Okay. Just basically hold you mm -hmm. and I think it's just very beneficial. That's perfect. Gives me endurance, makes me ready and so on. Yeah. yeah. And I can also try to fight in positions which are somewhat good for me, yeah. not necessarily crazy bad. Take care of yourself. Don't yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel the strength difference? Is it something you expected or? Yeah, I expected a big gap, of course, because my level is pretty low, medium, I guess. And uh, well, is it? I imagined something like this. So I'm not too disappointed about mm -hmm. myself, <laughs> but yeah, it's super nice. Even uh, there are differences between between strong guys like you and that can train and some that cannot train so mm -hmm. well. So I can feel some uh, some differences, even if you are way 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 stronger. Mm -hmm. It feels like more uh, uh, that helps me a bit a bit more. Okay, so. so it's not so bad. For me it's perfect because I don't have to... To work too much. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. it's fantastic. Man. I mean, uh, I'm sorry that I can't like maybe no. work up too much, but... But it's actually perfect. Right? Okay, perfect. And you're not that bad. Right? You won't try to start? I try just to move uh, around you. A bit faster then? Uh, uh, no, no, if you want to like go. Yeah, to no, no. Okay. Oh, okay, I can try a little bit. If you want to try. But, but I would mostly try this thing. Okay. Just to be, just to feel like what it feels like. And I will not necessarily go too fast. I'm just yeah, yeah. Okay. So your style. Did you felt what I'm doing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. dragging a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, care about like the this part of the end? Like, do you drag like this, or do you drag more like? Mostly like this, because okay. um, if I am posting too much, uh -huh. when there is a chance that someone fast. Okay. Will go in, and then if I have it, if I if my hand is dropped, you then you have a, they like normally end up like this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious about when you like on the ready go. Do you apply any pressure up here? I am trying to apply as much as I can actually. But you let it go if you feel it's too. It's being compromised or. It is well, it is never really compromised. Okay, yeah. I feel like the more my opponent is holding on to me, uh -huh. it's just better f you know, for me. To just go back and uh, rotate yeah, like yeah. this. Okay. Because, um, yeah, whenever I. Um, I'm, uh, I'm even uh, like somehow trying to um, force my opponent into uh -huh. holding on to me because uh, okay. some people they try to avoid it, they try to be very loose. Yeah. So I, I have some 
you apply some pressure I'm trying here. to apply some pressure trying to trying to make them like this a bit forget what they do yeah okay yeah, yeah one of the question was like uh, your setup like uh, uh, the thing that you just said uh, it's part of the answer I guess but uh, so you're, you're like uh, clamping down not so strongly actually not, maybe sometimes even not at all maybe not at all okay and giving pressure on the fingers yeah, yeah. just to make the people like say yeah, okay, just to make them because I, as I long as they are pressing on my, on my hand a little bit uh -huh. that's normally very good that's already enough for me to uh, mm -hmm. because you you do find some uh, guys that don't apply any pressure with fingers yeah that and one i go hook or exactly, yeah okay the this guy um Talgat Aktai from oh, Kazakhstan. Yeah, 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 no, no. He's the guy who is standing in like in front. He's incredible. I mean he's also s tall, like uh -huh. super long. And he applies no pressure. No pressure. Okay. And he's not going like hook. He's really actually going that way. Like. That way. Yeah. So it's so hard to um, Talgat I was super curious about. I asked some uh, some friends like about uh, how do you develop speed because it seems like all Kazakhs have like incredible speed. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's an impression to me, but uh, his type of pulling is really, really particular. Yeah, I guess it's maybe more about uh, the type of pulling more than, than speed. speed yeah. yeah, because, because it's, it's just that direction, right? Yeah, I guess tricep style in general is somehow like a, a little bit of a lottery. Mm -hmm. Whoever is uh, trying to press immediately, yeah. you know, normally it's either them Okay. Getting the shoulder in. Yeah. And successfully finishing. Otherwise, it goes like. Or maybe, uh, yeah, or they, maybe they cannot do it. And, and, and they, they, they're, and they yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's a, always a bit of a lottery. Yeah, because it seems like a, a super good move. Yeah. Like uh, with weaker guys. Exactly. Yeah. But if you find someone that holds you, it's over. Yeah, maybe find someone in the strong hook and they yeah. catch you and it's, it's, it's over. Because, it uh, somehow becomes not the most efficient anymore yeah. after you are stopped. Yeah, yeah. it's really good to okay, ready, go, start, and finish. And uh, yeah, because if you are not stopped, it's fantastic. fantastic. It will yeah. just go down. Yeah. That's great. And you, you were saying it, like he stands tall, and he yeah. likes to just to go yeah. there. Mm -hmm. okay. I see. So it makes it very hard to um, to stop him. stop him. But I remember you beat him sometime. Yeah, I did yeah. beat him. In, in a couple of matches and then uh, somehow I just like to annoy him a little bit uh -huh. and then sometimes he gets a little bit angry and then uh, he stops uh, being loose he starts he starts to be aggressive he says okay, okay let's just but and he starts being, to squeeze yeah. squeeze hard which I, I like a lot yeah yeah and also I think uh, if you squeeze too hard you get slower to be honest I think yeah, yeah. because it uh, you get stuck in your position. Maybe if you are like more loose, you just, yeah. Just in general, if you yeah. are if you are squeezing at all, somehow you're not so sp and you're yeah. not so fast, right? Or maybe it's simply easier for me to catch you. Okay. Because I feel that pressure, feel pressure. and I can load a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't feel any pressure, you can't load as well. Yeah, then I'm like, it's How hard to I load. load yeah. yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Because there's um, this guy from Italy, uh, pretty strong for Italy. Uh, they told they told me like um, he gives no pressure like with mm -hmm. the finger he like literally grabs you like this and he's like uh, hook fast and, uh, and that's all. Yeah, whenever you meet someone who is not squeezing, mm -hmm. you should be worried. Like, yeah, yeah, and normally, exactly. Because remember, normally, like everyone yeah. is super concentrated and squeezing, squeezing, but actually, yeah. Yeah, I remember back in the early days in Lithuania, like you meet someone who is um, like a village boy squeezing hard, mm -hmm. when you know, ah, it's gonna be oh, fine, okay. it's gonna, it's okay. But when you meet someone yeah. <laughs> that doesn't squeeze too hard, something yeah, weird something about it. Something is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm
I'm curious about. Like, it seems like there are not so many guys that go from this position, like in a deep hook, from top row. Is it like uh, because it's not so easy to pull off, or it's because uh, maybe who goes this deep is so specific on a hook that doesn't care about the top rolling? Like, do you view it as a as a good technique going from here to here, or? Uh... I think it just sometimes doesn't really work that way. Yeah, I feel whenever you got in, it's not it's really not so easy hard, to that easy out. to change direction. Yeah. You can probably do it if you if you and your opponent are both getting tired, uh -huh. but uh, initially it's not really gonna work. You because you are giving because I'm a, uh, yeah I'm uncapping your opponent and, yeah is, and I'm holding yeah. yeah it's not so easy. I see. If you did if you let's say if you do want to top roll then you would probably just uh, start start like that yeah. yeah there's no way. Have enough time for uh, your wrist <laughs> destruction. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's even better for me just to uh, yeah. to go down a bit. To go down a bit. Uh. But Yanis, like uh, he seems to pull also like like this. Yeah, a bit. With his, uh, it's not like the 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 top roll they teach me like uh, this way. Mm -hmm. It seems more also low hand, yeah. more low hand. Yeah. I know. I think our style is quite similar. It seems so. Yeah. We are both like blocking the inside moves. Uh -huh. And also at the same time controlling yeah. the outside yeah. at the same time, so it's like yeah, yeah. So cupping and uh, finger pressure and pronation this way, but not so much this way. Well, you still have to be ready for that. Uh, for that, thing, yeah. Just in case someone decides. To yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess the the whole load hand technique is somehow a bit about uh, sacrificing your strongest area which mm -hmm. is actually this mm -hmm. just because it's that strong so you can let it go sure. and then you know that you are still almost bringing it back yeah because you drag a lot actually with your back yeah i think in your style of pulling so it's like uh, okay let's give up this part but still dragging it i mean when i when I pull with you and you drag back like yeah. that i feel you feel like unstoppable in this direction because you're you're not like uh, compromise. You're just compromising this part, but all the rest can go. Yeah. So I guess the trick is uh, once again to let this or to let your eyes or go. Mm -hmm. But I'm not actually. I'm not really letting it go. Yeah. I still always have enough power to 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 con to get it back. Yeah. And, it's not and, like, that, and yeah, that's uh, why it's I am able to get these advantages. Like, you know this area getting away from your hand you know mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. yeah 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 so i'm getting all the advantages meanwhile i'm still gonna you still can i'm go still getting my riser yeah. back oh, okay like, so you are not getting in but then uh, yeah so my riser is i'm not really giving it away okay it's just a trap like yeah because i am confident about it so about much you yeah. can come back on that yeah okay that's really interesting because i couldn't really understand uh, by watching it like it seems like uh, 
uh, not so um, intuitive. Like it seems mm. like oh you're giving up everything. How can you uh, how can you hold? Yeah. But if you say like like you just said that you're giving up a bit, but you still yeah. have the the time and because pressure. Because some, some people they are not maybe not strong enough yet, not ready, and uh -huh. if they do it. It, yeah. it can look a bit bad like this. Yeah, um, so it's just going yeah, here. Something like that. Yeah. But if you've got the rising, yeah. yeah, you've got everything. Okay, that's nice to know. So I guess in armor wrestling, sometimes it's good to be able to sacrifice something. Yeah. But yeah, not to a point where you give it away. It's yeah. just, just a, a balance, you know. For example, yeah. whenever, if I know that you're going, let's say if I'm competing with you, mm -hmm. not I'm not fully sure if you're going in or out. Okay. I would start to somehow check you a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I, my question is, you know, like, how low should I go? Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be rising. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm somehow guessing, okay, maybe he will go a little bit in. But not fully. So then I'm, I'm also not fully going down. Okay. I'm like, okay, half, halfway. So I can, like, I can stop you and still get it back. Okay. Because if I, let's say, if you are not fully committing inside mm -hmm. or maybe a little bit outside as mm -hmm. well and and let's say i would make a mistake where i give it completely yeah then I maybe maybe i cannot get it back anymore yeah sure and then i made a mistake yeah. so basically um in the setup you're like trying to understand like, trying yeah to i'm get trying to see how much should i drop my hand mm -hmm. you know or maybe i shouldn't at all so and it's so I'm just trying to load your fingers okay like, I'm getting ready for my backwards move. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. Okay. And it's um. It's more than like it's like a feeling, like. Uh, yeah. yeah you depending feel like on what? Yeah. Depending on how very very your brush. fingers placed and so mm -hmm. on. Normally, it's quite easy to understand. Yeah. Though. Almost had to give up. <laughs> so close. Mm Uh, okay guys here we are again uh, that was it for today we are trying to keep Francesco relatively fresh and alive hopefully just so he can help me in the <laughs> upcoming days and uh, that's it enjoy yeah. Poof. <laughs> maybe some muscles. some flex <laughs> yeah, some flex. Uh, you win oh, the flex that was bottom. a good angle right you see oh. Just the forearm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. See you guys.